My name is Craig Cortom, and on behalf of the Midnight Ridecast, www.themidnightridecast.com, we are standing here in Hyde Park, Boston, in the area known as Reedville. This is the last remaining building of the encampment of the Massachusetts 54th Regiment. Now, a number of barracks were built by uh, Governor Andrew at the time for this all-black Massachusetts regiment, and what they wanted to show to the country, and a lot of uh, newsmen, like from Harper's Weekly, were following this regiment through their training and through their battles, was that the black man could make a good soldier, because there was some debate that they could not make a good soldier. We didn't know, uh, New England history knew that they fought in the Revolution, they made pretty good soldiers back then, but this was the, the first time when it was really making nationwide news. And this is 241, the Ponson Valley Parkway, corner of the Ponson Valley Parkway and Colchester. You can get up there, those are the streets. And this, we think, was an officer's quarters. Now, Hal, come on out here. Hal Shirtliff is the man who helped me locate this property. Hal, tell me about how you found out about this and what this well, used to be. Well, my life time resident of Hyde Park. I'm, I'm living in West Roxbury now a few years ago. But Lifelong resident. Back when I was about 20 years of age, I was always a history buff, and uh, a woman who was probably in her 80s at that time, so we're talking, you know, we're talking about early 80s when, uh, when this lady told me that this was the last remaining building of Camp Meigs, uh, right. which was, and it was a, one of the largest complexes in the region. It was quite a big railroad. Uh, and this uh, lady was with the Hyde Park Historical, Historical Society. Society. That's, That's where you can find more information on this. Now, the, the uh, 54th Regiment is a reenacting group, and they uh, are here in Hyde Park in Louis Square. And they're an active ceremonial uh, uh, National Guard Regiment of Massachusetts. And just down the street here is a plaque that commemorates the 54th and I believe the 55th Regiment. Wow. Uh, also, that was an all black. Uh, and Camp Meigs. And Camp Meigs. Of course, there are a lot of other units that trained here, too. Thousands right. of them over the years. Thousands of soldiers came through here. And back uh, in the early part of the 1900s was a racetrack. Wow. Uh, uh, which is a stop and shop, but it used to be a big warehouse for stop and shop. There was a racetrack in here. Uh, in the back there, yeah. Horses? So, Horses, uh, yeah, yeah. horses, right. And I think eventually, yeah, horses. And at one point, they were going to think about building a baseball park in, uh, in the back here. But thankfully, wow. in, a, in a Fenway Park, uh, they replaced Fenway Park. So you're thinking this was officers' quarters, probably? It was probably some type of headquarters building, like wow. an office, you know, where the soldiers would give their reports and things. Yeah. So perhaps Robert Gould Shaw, the colonel, uh, once Most likely, he went did. in and out he of probably there. Did. Yes. There's no question about that. Uh, uh, there was actually a, quite a big hospital here, too. A huge yeah. uh, military hospital. So if you're ever, ever in uh, the Boston area, a little a little bit off the Freedom Trail, yeah, uh, like an off Broadway production. And uh, but this is definitely worth uh, just to check out. And uh, we have had the 54th on the podcast www.themidnightridecast.com, and hopefully they're going to acquire this property, and turn it into a museum. That's what we're hoping. All right, thank you. Yeah.